Good morning, everyone. So this is our home task number six and home task number seven in science. So in SLHT number six, we are going to trace the path of typhoons that enter the Philippine area of responsibility or PAR using a map and a tracking data. So the map that we're going to use can be found at the back page. Next, you're going to read everything and understand what you have read. And then we have here a diagram. Kindly look closely. We have here the Philippines in green line. And we have here a red line enclosing the Philippines. So this is a weather map. Now, after you read and understand everything, in the discussion part, you are going to answer exercise number one, plotting the par. So the direction says, plot the following points on the map. But this is too small, so we are going to use the bigger map at the back. Use the map provided on the last page for you to cut and paste or staple in your answer sheet. So the answer sheet in science looks like this. So this is our answer sheet for SLHT number 6. Okay. And then sa ubos, we have answer sheet for number 7. So, this is where you're going to write your answer. And this is where you're going to staple your exercise number 1. So, in plotting the points, we are going to use the map at the back so you're going to cut it so you're going to cut this part here nicely and get this map and attach it to your answer sheet so you may staple the two or just simply write if you don't have stapler at home write your name below so you're going to write name grade and section okay next is let's continue the exercise Plot the following points. So we have point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, and F. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points to plot on this map. Okay? So how do we plot the points? So that we also have points in our grades. So... Now, let's have the latitude and longitude. So, we have 5 degrees north and 115 degrees east. So, for 5 degrees north, you're going to look for that on the map. So, if it's latitude, so all the la numbers or the degrees that you can find in this side. So, latitude. So, we have 5 degrees okay so we have here five degrees diri ba ibutang ang point dili no di pa ka magbutang og point din ha so just point at it first and then let's find 115 degrees east so 115 degrees is right here diri ba ka magbutang sa point no. 
So, dili ka din hi magbutang og point sa 5 degrees. Dili po ka magbutang og point sa 115 degrees. Asa di ka magbutang sa imong point. You are going to plot your point to the part kung asa sila gaabot. Asa gaabot ang 5 degrees and asa gaabot ang 115 degrees. Diba dire? So, diri gaabot ang 5 degrees and 115 degrees. So, dira ka maghimo o point kung asa gaabot ang duha ka numbers or duha ka coordinates. Okay? So, that is point A. We label it with A. Next, let's have point B. 15 degrees north. So, latitude. 15. So, we have here 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Maghimo na ba dayong ka o point dira? No. Let's have 115 degrees east in the longitude. 115. So, maghimo na ba ka o point din ha? No. Asa man di ay ka maghimo sa imong point B. Dito ka maghimo o point kung asa gaabot ang 15 and 115. So, if this is 15 and this line here is 115, kung asa sila gaabot, dira ka maghimo o imuhang point. Do you understand? So, kung asa gaabot ang duha ka coordinates, dira ka maghimo sa imuhang point. So, this is our point B. So, point B is 115 degrees east and 15 degrees north. So, 15 degrees north and 115 degrees east. Okay, so that is our point B. We label the point. Next, you are going to plot C, D, E, F. So, imuha na sa ng turn to plot the points. After you plot all the points on the table, turn to the back page. So, we have here, connect the plotted points. So, you are going to connect A and B. So, you are going to connect A and B. So, you may use ruler para straight ang imuhang line. So, connect the point. So, A is connected to B. And then, you connect B to C. Sa imuhang na plot nga, point C. And then, you connect C to D. And connect D to E. Okay? So, connect everything. Connect all the points in the map. So, kung sa imuhang na purma, that region is the Philippine area of responsibility or par. Okay? So, we have here an example A and B. Para sa kong gi-demonstrate kanina. After you plot the Philippine area of responsibility, you're going to track a tropical cyclone. Okay? So, pareha sa ito gibuat kanina. You're going to write, you're going to plot points. Pero, dili na libilan ha. Points na lang tanan rito so. So, we have latitude 6 degrees north and 145. So, let's find 6 and 145. 6, not a 6. 4, 5, 6. And then, 145. 
The last number here is 135. So, what man kabut og 145? So, we are going to write the numbers 136 degrees, 137 degrees, 138 degrees, 139, 140, 141, 142. 143, 144, 145, 146, and 147 degrees. Do not forget to write the symbol degrees. So we already have 145. So we have, uh, let's have 6 degrees and 145. 6 degrees and 145. So, kung asa gaabot ang doha, ka coordinates di ka muhimo sa imong points. But wait, na asyay point 10. No? So, that is also very important. If it's 145 point 10, so that is not the correct area. So, 145.10 Isibog na ito gamay diri Just a little part So, mo na ang sakto So, ang kanang gamay nga That, that is the correct one So, gamay yung like that And then, this one is not correct So, sibog ta gamay dito kay 145.1 man Point 1 or point 10 Next, 6.40 and 143.3 so 6 6.40 40 so nasa dirpita dirigamay so wala kabot ka tunga 6.4 and then 143 143.143.3 so nasa dirida pita gamay so 143 man point 3 so nakuha ra so that is how you plot the points. So manata sa point A and point B. So kamo na sa mo sa point C up to point Z. Okay, so points raha nya gagmay lang. And then daily siya butangag letters. Points lang. And so on. So this is your performance for SLHT number 6. So make sure you will be able to submit this together with your answer sheet. Okay, thank you.